happening, hippies and deadheads? What's going on? Welcome to a brand new episode of Play Dead. All right, as always, I'm Davey. Yeah, your fucking Sherpa up the mountain of Terrapin Station. That's what we're doing, okay? If you have not yet, if this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon, like, comment, all the stuff. Uh, go check out merch, realbird.comedy.site. Go join our Patreon. Lots of stuff to do. Okay, so this week, this is Terrapin Part 2, so if you haven't watched Part 1 yet, that'll be above my head or around my face somewhere, go watch that first, because that's Part 1, that's the uh, lady with a fan, and today we're on Part 2, we're going to get right into it, okay, it's Terrapin Station, so last week's lesson left off at the end of Lady with a Fan, right, and that is the since the end is never told, pay the teller off in gold, all right, we got that, we're done, but it ends on that nice, that little... Okay, and that's where we're picking up today, all right? So these are the sections. You've just got, you've got this intro for Terrapin Station. You've got verse one. You've got like this little lead into the second verse. And then you've got Terrapin. You've got the, you've got that part, right? Uh, and that's basically what we're going over today. It's pretty simple. There's just, a, there's just some little stuff. Uh, that I'm going to have to show you the tabs for. But this one should be a little bit easier than the last one because there's no really big solo to tab out, right? It's just kind of stuff that you can that you can feel, you know? Uh, so let's get into it. Let's get into that intro. I love you so much. Thank you for being here. Happy holidays. Hope it was a good one. This is still your present. I love you. Let's do it. All right, family, here we are in the intro, right? So last week where we left off was the. Okay, but th this is what this looks like. This intro is great. This is the, this is that thing. You know what I'm saying? It's that thing. So listen to me do it and we'll do it. Not so bad, right? Just a little bit, a little bit of tablature, but not nothing crazy. But this is one of those things that's going to make you feel like a rock star when you're doing it because it is so powerful, right? So what you'll do is you're going to start on an E. So you're going to do a hammer onto that E. So you're hammering on on the A and D strings, right? And then what you're doing on that D string is going O two four two. So. You do that again. But then now it's uh, two open, two, four open. So. Two open, two, four open. So from the start. Because we're doing that vocal line for a little bit later in the song, and we're going to get to it, but not yet, okay? And then now it is two open, two open, two on the A. So. Right? And then this is the last one of it, so. Right, that's what that's going to sound like. So it's. Two, open, two, four, one on the G, right? All right, so all together. Okay, and that's your intro. So now... Let's move on to the verse. We're just, we're just going to hit it at a clip today because I know that this is a lot, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to make this one less than 45 minutes. Maybe. No promises. We're just going to see how it flows. Right, baby? That's how it's going to go. Okay, good. Here we go into the verse. Inspiration. All right, first verse of Terrapin Station. Here we go. This is what it looks like. It's some chords, and it's going to be some chords I'm going to have to show you, especially that one. 
You see that one, that one that doesn't look like a regular chord, that D sharp minor seven flat five? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Listen to me do it and we'll do it. Inspiration. Song with sense in color, all the way to scare more than the south with not as this mystery's walking past. Statements just seem very less. Some rise, some fall, some cry. All right, guys, not too bad, right? So, all right, guys, what we're starting on, we're starting on an E. So, like, after you've done that, you hit that E again. Inspiration. You're going to hit an A. So, inspa, and on ration, you're going to hit an A. Ration. And then you're going to hit an A7. Right? It's just real quick. So, inspiration, A7. Brightly, and at brightly you hit a D, right? D major. So. Inspiration A7 up to D. And then D major 7. So a D major 7 could be here, or what you can do to make it easier on yourself, you got this D major chord right here, but what you do is you basically, you bar on the second fret on the G, B, and E strings. That's a D major 7, right? So... Inspiration, move me brightly, E major 7. Yeah, and then we're going to hit an E, so light the song with sense and color. On E that whole time, and now you're going to go to A. Hold away despair. So you stay on A that whole time, so hold away despair. And then E, more than to A, this I will not add. Right? Cool. Got that so far? So start from the beginning. Inspiration. Move me brightly. Write the song with sense and color. All the way to spare. More than this I will not ask. So on ask, you get on to E. So more than this I will not ask. Cool. And now you're going to go to C sharp minor, faced with mysteries, and then to G major 7, dark, and then to D major, and fast. So that G major 7 is fun, right? So what you're going to do is you're basically going to take a D chord, you're going to bar on that 7th fret, right, on the D, on the uh, D, G, B strings, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your ring finger, put it on the 10th fret on the A string. You're going to take your uh, middle finger, put it on the 9th fret on the D string, and you bar the rest with your pointer finger on that 7th fret. Gives you a sexy time chord. The major 7s are sexy times. Ooh, baby. You know what I'm saying? So, mystery's dark and past to D major. And then now this is where that D sharp seven, D sharp minor seven flat five comes in. <laughs> so ridiculous. So mystery's dark and vast. And then that's that D, sh D sharp minor seven flat five. So what you're doing is what it looks like. This is the diagram, but you put your pointer finger on the sixth fret on the A string, you put your ring finger on the seventh fret on the D string, put your middle finger on the sixth fret on the G string, put your pinky on the seventh fret on the B string. So. And really, really fucking hammer this chord into your head because you're gonna be using it throughout this whole track. And I know it sucks, I know it's weird, I know it's hard, but nothing, no, nothing worth having, right? Nothing worth having. Okay, got to work for it. Got to put the time in. Okay, so. Mystery's dark and bad. Now we're going to go back to E. The statements just seem vain at to A. Vain at last to D. 
right? So statements just seem vain at last. And then you're gonna hit that D sharp minor seven flat five again, right? And then you're going into the summarize part, right? And we'll get to that in just a second. So statements just seem vain at last. Cool. And now we're going to get into the summarize part, and that's just your intro to this. Some rise, and then ba, 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 some fall, ba, 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 some climb, to get to Terrapin, right? And then that's where you hit an A, but see, that's where we're going to cut it now and go into the, the second verse. I'm going to show you that lead line that comes up into it, and then we're going to go into that verse part two, second verse, whatever you want to call it. Again, this whole song is just an opus, so we're just cutting it up into digestible chunks for you, for me, so I don't lose my mind, blow my brains out onto the back patio. You know how it goes. So, yeah, here we go. Counting stars by candlelight Okay, guys, so verse two what it looks like, that intro to it, and then the actual chord progression, okay? Very similar to the last one. Little bit of change-ups, though. So, listen to it, and then we do. You know how it do. So, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Counting stars by candlelight All our dim but one is bright Spiral light of Venus First and shining best All from the northwest corner Of a brand new crescent moon Crickets and cicadas sing A rare and different tune Terrapin Station In the shadow of the moon Terrapin Station Okay, so that, that intro to this second verse is pretty easy, right? So how we're gonna break it down, you're on that A. Get to get to Terrapin. Right? So then there you're gonna go open, open two, four. So cool. And then you're gonna go on that A string. So open two, four on the A string, and then Two, four, two, so two, four on the A string, two on the D string, so cool. And then we're on the uh, on the D string, we're gonna do four, two, four to the A, so. Okay. Okay, and that's that. And then you're gonna hit two, four on the A, two, four on the D, and two on the G. Say. Proud of you. So. <laughs> and then uh, now going into that verse, you hit an E. Counting. Right, so we're, we we do those preemptive starts, right? Not preemptive, but it's like it's got that chord to hang on that first uh, first bit of the verse. So, Counting stars by candlelight. Back to E, right? And then you go to C sharp minor. All our dim but one to D is bright. Back to E, the spiral light of Venus rising to A, first and shining best. <laughs> it's always been. One of the most ridiculous lines in this song to me. Rising first and shining best. I always thought it was hilarious. Rising first and shining best. And then, oh! I, and the lyrics say, oh, from the northwest corner. But I always thought it said, all from the northwest corner. And this is all happening from the northwest corner of a brand new crescent moon. 
but it says O, but I like all. So all from so E, so all A, go northwest to E corner. And then we're gonna do C sharp minor, B minor, D, and then B sharp minor, seven flat five. Right? So how that's gonna break down. Um Oh from the northwest corner. C sharp minor brand new crescent moon. So C sharp minor B minor D brand new crescent moon. Then uh, I love this chord and you're gonna end up loving it because the song doesn't really work without it. it. It has to be there to lead you from that D to that E in a way. It's just composition, man. This is neoclassical music, right? So oh, from the northwest corner of a brand new crescent moon. E crickets and cicadas sing. Right? So Crickets and to A to D, D sharp minor seven five five, <laughs> and then E a rare and different tune, and then D to A station. Um, so you go to D to A on station, but before that it's all E, right? And then you go to B minor A to E, right? So in the shadow of the moon, tear up in. To D to A, right? Terrapin Station. And then you're gonna stay on A, and I know to D to E, and I know we'll be there soon. Okay, and then that's where we go into the Terrapin, I can't figure out. <laughs> All right, and from that point, that's where we do that, okay? So, how we're gonna do that, it's basically, again, it's that intro. So, you're doing that lead line to what Jerry's singing, right? So, I can't figure out It's the end or beginning Trains put its brakes on And the whistle is screaming And then we're gonna go into the next section. <laughs> and that's the last section of this this video, right? That's the last, this is the last section we're going into is the Terrapin part. Um, so let's go, you jabronis. All right, so welcome to the Terrapin. <laughs> this is what it looks like. And you're gonna listen to me do it and then we will do it, okay? <laughs> guys it really isn't that bad right there's a little bit going on but this really isn't the craziest most technical thing ever it's it's not that bad so what we're gonna do is you're gonna so at the at that that end part so uh screaming d major baby hit that shit Terrapin. that's that is okay. Terrapin. Terrapin. that's what you get uh, and so you hit that D major. Cool. And then what you're going to do is you're going to be on the fifth fret on the B string. You're going to go five, seven, and then you're going to go eight, and then you're going to pull off to the seven and five. So 
then you're gonna hammer back onto that seven. You're on the B string, right? So five, five, seven, eight, seven, five, seven. And then you're gonna go to the G string and you're gonna go seven, nine, seven, five, seven, five, four, five, four, oh. And then you're gonna hit an A minor. Cool, so. So seven, nine, seven, five, seven, five, four, five, four, oh. But do it like a goddamn medieval minstrel, you know what I'm saying? Okay? And then you're gonna... So how I'm doing this, I like to do it with these kind of octaves because it's powerful. So you, I like to do this slide from a G up to an A minor. Or you could do... It, it really depends on what, what part you're, you're playing, what part you want to play. If you're doing this by yourself, maybe do the full chords, but I'm usually doing this with a band, so someone else is handling the full chords while I'm doing these octaves. So that chord progression is an A minor to G to C, B minor, G, D, G, D, right? So how that does with the octaves, and with these octaves, you're just doing... You're doing uh, the, the same chord shape, but you're just taking. And then hitting that D chord, right? So you, so an octave, I know we've gone over them before on here, but if you haven't done an octave before, so it's basically just taking. Right, so you've got. Pointer finger there, and then your ring finger or your pinky. Split a hat, a whole step, and then up two strings. So it's on, when we're doing the A minor and the G's and stuff, that's happening on the E and D strings. And then hitting that D chord, so... doing it with chords it's and like it's it really just depends on what you want to do and then from there you hit that that lick again the first lick and then from here here's your next lick so what it is, it's uh, you're going from the, you're going to be on the A, D, and G strings, right, the whole time. So you're basically tracing chords to get that. That's what you're doing. So what you're doing is you're tracing an A minor. So come up here to your A minor. So seven, seven, five. So... 7th fret on the A string, 7th fret on the D string, 5th fret on the G string. So, so you're tracing an A minor. Boom, 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 bap. And then from there, you're going to go 3, 5, 5. Right? So now you're doing you're going up and down. So, boom, boom, bap, da, da, da. so you're doing it forward and then backwards. And then, then on that next one, it's a little tricky. So it's an open on the D, 2 on the D, and then 2 on the G. So... And then um, that next one, you're going to do an open on the uh, G string, a two on the D string, and a three on the A string, making a C. So. And then from there, from that third fret, you're going to keep it there, and you're going to slide up to the seventh fret, and then hit the fifth fret on G, and then the seventh fret on D. So... Okay, and then from there you're gonna hit an A minor and a C and a D. And then you're gonna chill on that D. And then you're gonna hit the lick again. And then. And 
then, okay, so on that last time, on the last time you're doing this before it hits the big D and trickles out into uh, Terrapin Transit, I believe. I be yeah, it's Terrapin Transit. Uh, it's it, the last one is one of these. The and so it ends on that A minor C, e, and then it trickles out and goes into that next part. And guys, we're chopping away. We're old choppender choppender on the old terrapin. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the end of today's video. I love that we're doing it in chunks, but that's that's it for this one. Um, I'm really proud of you guys. I'm really excited that you guys keep coming back. Uh, we're going to be doing, once this one's over, so next week we will have the rest of Terrapin. I believe I'll be able to get it into one more video. One more video for uh, Terrapin Transit, at a Siding, and Terrapin Flyer. I should be able to get all those into one video. Uh, it'll probably be a long one. Again, this is probably going to be the shortest out of the the whole thing. Um, but thank you. I love you. I'm really proud of you. We're doing this together. I was really nervous about taking, taking on Terrapin right now. Um, I wanted to hold out until we had more subscribers, but Hey, we're, we're, you know, we're right at 10,000 subscribers and it means the world to me. So this is really my, my thank you and, you know, happy holidays. This is all of that from me. Um, please, if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified every time we drop new stuff. We drop stuff all the time. We, like, I work at least 100 hours a week on this channel. There's always, always, always stuff going up almost every day of the week. And if it's not on YouTube, it's on our Patreon, on our Discord. So please go hit that up. Go join for, you know, $5. $5 a month gets you crazy amounts of content. Um, also merch realbird.company.site, or if you just want to fucking throw me money because I work really hard on these lessons, you know, and don't get paid by YouTube for them. You can do that via Venmo PayPal. You can do that that way. You can make one-time donations. You can go join. Like there's so many things that you can do to support or just share it. Tell people about it, share it around like that. That also helps it. it everything helps. Anything helps. Everything helps. You help me help you all the time. I love you so much. Happy holidays from us over here at the Toby and Davey channel. Come back next week for the next Play Dead. And I love you. A good moi. Mwah.